belt knife. Typically my SE5, but I thought I'd just bring down this one for show today. The um, Bark River Bravo 1 and CPM 3V Steel Rampless Field Knife in Maroon Linen Micarta. Just, uh, this, is the, this is the type of knife that I would have on my person before, um, sorry, um, uh, not in my kit but on my person. It is a belt knife, so that's, one of, that's the cutting tool aspect of the um, 5 or 10 C's. Now we'll get to the kit. Now, just before we start here, so I'm going to this back up to show you what it'll look like in my pack. I could probably ball this up a bit tighter, guys, to fit in the pack for compactability, but this is what it would look like. Something like this. This is stored in a Yugo 12 liters um, dry bag. It's a heavy duty uh, dry bag, as you guys can see. You can see through it, except it's mesh reinforced, as you guys can see. And it's good that I can see through it for all the contents. Um, I, I would typically, I have a, um, a bright orange sea lime one that I would carry for most of my boating kits because it's brightly colored. But the bot this one's pretty good quality. It has a rubber pad on the bottom and everything, fully waterproof. It has two plastic D rings here if I want to carry it in a tump line fashion, and a plastic buckle. I'll probably replace that whole thing and turn that into metal with metal D rings and everything. But it's a pretty nice system. The bag itself is one of the items. I can collect water in this since it's waterproof. I can store water in this. I can blow this up to use it as a flotation device and or a pillow. So there's a lot of different things I can do with this kit since it's fully waterproof and airtight. So as you guys can see, I still got a lot of extra space there, so this kit will probably fill up with a few more things. I just don't want it to be too heavy. Alright, so first item, roll of duct tape, fire, repairs, everything. It's a it's crushed a bit, should make it more compact. Orange duct tape, same purpose except this one. I can put on the back of my shelter if I need to. And then I'll have um, a signaling device as well. These things also look good for patching things up. Inside here, I have my fishing kit. Just inside this little M&M um, &M tube right here works quite well. It's brightly colored, watertight, and floats. So that's good. I can also use this for real for hobo fishing if I need to. This here is a pretty cool system. This is a flare. This red uh, cylinder thing with the tin bottom is a flare that you light up here, except attached to it is duct tape on, covering the top of the lighter, which makes it waterproof, with orange tape on it, um, which makes it also a good signaling device. And under that tape on the other side of this is some cotton, so it'll light uh, easier. It's a big lighter on there, so that all stays together for signaling and or for fire. A pen, which will match up with something we'll come up to later. A fire steel, this is the Bear Grylls uh, Ultimate Fire Steel, as you guys can see. I have used the heck out of that thing down here. It's quite thin, but I uh, still got a lot of good strikes out of this good-sized handle. On the bottom here, I took off the striker because I just used the back of my knife. I got a button compass that fits in there. Uh, under the button compass is some tinder, and then I just got a little bit of extra 550 cord here that I can hold on to like that so I don't drop it. Or since this thing's a little bit thin, I can fold up the square knot kind of style thing that I have. Give me a bit of extra handle and beef to it. It's a nice item to have. Another big lighter. This one's one of those push style ones. I'm not a big fan of these ones. I like the other ones better, but you know, you never have enough big lighters. They're underestimated. Um, hand warmer. If I'm sleeping, I'd probably shove these things. I got two of them in this pack. Shove them inside my armpits instead of hot rocks. It's a technique I really use. It's hot rocks. I always get burnt. <laughs> um, these are soft Tylenols. In this little water um, proof um, glass uh, container there. Eye drops in case of stings or anything, anything that happens to my eyes, including um, snow blindness if I was in that kind of situation. This is made mainly for a spring and summer. Um, a hard candy, just a cheap, brightly colored whistle. <coughs> Works really well, actually. I wasn't expecting that. Some Pepto, never have enough of that stuff. Braided metal wire for snares. This is something I'd use more for coyotes because um, nothing's going to chew through this stuff. Extremely durable stuff. As you guys can see, splits into even finer stuff, so carefully don't get splinters. A lot of also multiple uses for that as well. Two Victor knockoff mouse traps. These things work very well. I have um, cord tied to each one so that I can tie it to a stake after I set it so that if something does get caught in my trap but isn't dead, it won't run away from my trap. Tin cup for boiling, collecting water, 
all that good stuff. It's heavy duty tin, so it won't melt. Swiss Army knife. This is a this is a, one of the five C's cutting tool. I this is the fireman style one, the same one that Les Stroud uses. Brightly colored, nice and compact. Fits in your hand, doesn't weigh anything. It has um the saw blade, which is very important. It has the um, bottle opener, the tweezers, and of course the big blade and the small blade you I typically use in combination with my fire steel to throw some nice sparks. This is what's called a coyote alarm. These things are very hard to find around these guys. I found this in my local um, outdoor store. You just pull on this. It's extremely loud, so I'm not going to do it. But just pull on this little cord here, and that little pin will pop out. And this thing just makes this extremely, extremely aggravating noise that scares the piss out of my dog, scares the piss out of me. Extremely loud item. Very good thing to have also for searchers. I believe this is X Strength. Advil, so these things, if I took too many of these, I could OD and die. This is for stuff like um, extreme pain. Uh, shoot. Ow. One lone fish hook. I should probably get that guy back in the uh, in the kit. Some more cordage for my vector mouse traps or for bow drills if I need them to. Just an extra hand of cordage there. Safety pins. 80 of them. I fold it up like that for the ease of packing, but just right quick here. Just for ease of packing, I'm going to take off this top here. Just cut that right down like that. I'll throw this back in the kit. Extra fire tinder as well. There we go. I mainly use this for a signal device, but it's the very best priority survival guide. Also, something another thing to write on. Got a pencil attached to it. Match case, full of waterproof matches and striker. Sharpener, I prefer stones, compact, lightweight stones, but this thing works very well for sharpening uh, knives, axes, the whole deal. This might be too perfect, you guys. If someone starts calling my name, it's just my babysitter telling me I gotta go to karate, so. Just keep that in mind. If I end the video quickly, I'll pick it back up. Make sure you watch part two. Galvanized steel wire, so this thing, this stuff will not rust. I carry this pack for simplicity of packing, because as you guys can see, the little cord that ends out of it, you can just pull that out. It's a nice reel. Um, I should probably add some beeswax into this kit to run the stuff through, just to make sure it's completely invincible from the weather. Great snaring stuff, though, this. Got a lot of it, too. Also, on the back, there's a multi purpose item. Also, got some cardboard for fire starting. But also a few measurements in the side on both sides. So, and and of course another thing to write on to leave for searchers as well. Uh, tonal extra strength flu daytime. One lone Q-tip. My journal. This is the bigger one. I'll probably carry a small right in the rain military style one. But this one in collaboration with this is what I would use to typically leave my notes for searchers, along with um, this so that they can see the note attached to a tree or something in a baggie so that the ring does not hurt it. My full first aid kit is in this heavy duty canvas um, uh, military surplus $8 um, kit with a lanyard attached to it. Attached it to my belt. This is the first thing I take out of my belt to attach my person. Just in case I did end up getting the water with my kit if I was lost and I, I did lose my kit, I still have my uh, first aid. In this also is a little bit of food, a little bit of jerky. Um, I also got a fire starter and an extra small a Gerber pair frame too, serrated. So this is a very, very important asset. Also, it's all in a bag inside this, so it's waterproof. Baggy full of um, dry run. Actually, right quick. This is also nighttime extra strength flu. I'm going to put both these um, little pill canisters inside here with the... Um, dry line, just because it's a baggy. Always try to keep your your drugs, your medications, uh, waterproof, water guys. Small sharpening stone. Extra baggy. Never have enough of those things. Tin foil for boiling water, signaling, all that good stuff. Extremely bright little uh, lantern that are hanging by my shelter. Also has a strobe on it for a signal. 
extra hank of cotton, camouflage, more char cloth, more bandages, all good stuff. If there was a forest fire, or if I got smoke inhalation, use it like this. Get out of that smoke right quick. Very, very useful item. I probably wouldn't turn this one into the char cloth. Just more bandages, more mouth guards, things like that. This is actually a very nice item to have. Bandanas are another great idea as well. Two granola bars that have been sugar treated so that they last longer. Put back in the packages and tape inside this baggie. These are two very nice items to have, guys. Looking at the camera, these kind of look like a dull, a dull orange, almost like yellow on the camera. These things are very, very deep, intense orange um, in person. Uh, these things are orange safety vests. I can wear this while I'm walking around or one hanging off my shelter for signaling. Um, also, it's a hunting seat. You know, you want to have these things on. And um, the route, it's a very, very heavy duty package they come in. More things to carry things in, more water compartments, things like that. Pack of gum. Don't tell me when I took a piece out of this. <laughs> it's my emergency sugar intake stuff. So this is sugar-free gum because of the metal in my mouth I got since you guys last saw me in video. Um, very nice item to have as well if you're hungry. If you're super thirsty, I don't suggest taking this stuff because there's sugar in it. But, you know, if you're uh, if you're hydrated and you just need a little boost or something, it's a good thing to have. Kind of stale. It'll be okay, though. No, it's good. All right. Shelter aspect always, go, always goes at the bottom of the kit. This thing. Whew. Strong gum. Is a 5 mil. Super sized scouting hug a tree and survive school. Um, the Rover Scout program here we teach all ages for survival and everything. What do you do if you're lost? Bushcraft, military things as well. This emblem here is a youth organization that we started called Hug a Tree and Survive. We started this in the summer of 2011, I think, and we did um, three weekends of uh, major youth training. Came up with this system, and uh, we asked Adventure Sport, which is a company out of Pennsylvania. Um, used to be in collaboration with the wool blanket company that made for the military to come up with um, these five mil. I think they're like ten by ten or something. These things are massive drum liners, bright orange, good signal device, um, shelter cover, all that stuff. More rain catch as well, more rain gear. Very nice item. Butane lighter. Works upside down, in the wind, everything. Very nice RCMP Canada. Probably put that thing in a bag. Yeah, I really, really like that lighter. Sore throat drops. These things are great. I love these things. I'm actually just going to... Shoot. There we go. Gonna fold that back there. The, I have uh, four left, so these things are great. If you ever wake up in the morning, um, ever since I was a little kid, if I if I'm really tired and I wake up early in the morning, I always have a sore throat. In a survival situation, these things are great. Also, a good source of sugar. If I'm low on that, probably will be if I'm in a survival situation. Nail clippers, very nice item to have. You know, kind of frustrating trying to cut your knife, trying to cut your nails with scissors and your knife. Also got a file on that, very nice. 